Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of J. Leave Skaven vs. Gadenix Wood Elves. And joining me in the booth is Purple Chest and Skurometso. Hello. Hello, how are we doing? Glorious. I'm doing very well, looking forward to this one. Yeah, absolutely. Gadenix, a, uh, a local favorite on uh, the Jimmy Fantastic channel. You know, of course, he's... Uh, Best known as the uh, the father creator of the Blitz Pit competition, the best uh, competition in, uh, in in Blood Bowl, especially if you uh, like competing in a professional level for money. But today we're competing for basically nothing in the CCL playoffs, <laughs> Champions League number, what are we at now, 30-something? 30 38, I believe. 38. 38. Oh my goodness. It's almost as old as us, Jim. Not PC. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> right. I have I have aches older than that. I can confirm. Um, <laughs> I I do too. To be fair. <laughs> so talk us through the teams, Jim and PC. What are we looking at here? I'm seeing one hell of a gutter runner up there. <laughs> yeah. What else did the Skaven team have? Holy shit! Wrestle strip move ten edge six. That is unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> He's got, yeah. a, he's got a pun. What else could escape and need? Yeah, and, well, if, he's got Skitter Stab Stab, and he's got a Wizard, and he's got a Bribe, so he's got lots of inducements here. He's up about 1,600 TV. Gadernik is 2,000 TV. Um, he's also got a one-turner here, hasn't he? <laughs> I was just about to point out that I don't bench. love the idea of having my move 10 on before it makes its one turn attempt but he's got another one in reserve yeah, he, he, just he keeps to make spare. damn sure <laughs> this is um, incredible isn't it move 10 edge 5 yeah. 2 head sprint sure feet what a fucking one turn of that is incredible but he's yeah, got nothing I mean, else if you're... it's fantastic <laughs> yeah. Jim this is a, a team designed to just yeah but Gdanik no free. slouch of a coach and playing a team he's very strong with Wood Elves He's got a nice war dancer down there. What else has mm -hmm. he got? Uh, two nice war dancers, actually. Yeah, the dancers are great on this team. The rest of the elves obviously don't need to be that good. Uh, there's a strength for mighty blow war dancer with tackle and sidestep and wrestle. I mean, that's got to be the ultimate ball hawking war dancer, hasn't it? This is the uh, that is the exact best player to have against the Skaven team, I think. <laughs> Just about. Uh, I mean, it's strip ball. There's there's not usually a lot of sure hands on Skaven, but um, yeah, it, it's, it's asking a lot to squeeze strip ball in there too. He, he has strip ball. He doesn't have wrestle. The other one has wrestle. Both have. Strip. Oh, I see. Yep, yeah, I'm misreading yeah. the little symbols. Yeah, both have strip tackle sidestep. One's oh, yeah. one strength four with mighty blow, and the other's edge five with wrestle. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to me that Gdanik basically has an answer for anything that Jay Leave wants to do, but Jay Leave can just score at any time he's got the ball in hand. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think to some high... degree, Jay Leave will be a little bit gutted. Um, if this was a, against a Bash team, then the Wizard and the AG6 gutted a fetch would mean that we'd all be picking Jay Leave as an easy win. Yeah. With a one turner yep. and an AG6 and a Wiz, almost nothing could resist that. But Absolutely. what else can... hadn't even noticed hadn't even noticed that wizard and that uh that that's gonna you know Gdanik's gonna want to see that thing gone as soon as he can I think but uh yeah that that's probably just that that's probably just adding one score for the the Skaven pretty much automatically if used in any way responsibly well it would be against a bash team yes mm. yeah. yeah but yeah true but elves it's uh it's tricky, isn't it? Tricky to get value out of a wizard against elves. And honestly, Kadin, it could have just gone to try and bang this in early, couldn't he? Just he could have just gone for the two-turn score because he's got a he's got a throw with pass, you know. And uh, and is that sure hands as well? Yeah. So he's got pass sure hands, and he's got catches. So he could just go and bang it in early, right? He's got four rerolls, and then that sure. that takes out the the wizard from Jay Leave. And Jay Leave, although okay, he's got he's got a crappy thrower, but. The, the gutters don't have catcher or, or sure hands, you know? So, like, if he's relying on the gutters to ball handle, there's more chance of him using rerolls then, isn't there? So, I wouldn't have hit yeah, it. Gone for that. Slightly unpopularly for the chalice, both mm. have actually come with a reasonable number of rerolls. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, reroll re denial Absolutely. isn't perhaps the easy strategy it sometimes is in the chalice. Yeah, but I, You know, the fact that if... if well, I'm, I'm getting... Stalls, oops, sorry. 
Oh, go, 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 go. Your point is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking, you know, if, if Kadenik's going for the stall here, isn't he? And it, it's a little bit risky against the wizard, but, and you know, even if he does stall, then Jayleaf just wants turns and it's 1 1 anyway. So I feel like if he was to score him, you know, score in two. Then, then if Jayleaf goes the one turn and fails, or fails his two turn, you know, like, there'd be a bit more play in it, I think, going for Ooh. a quick score, but that's, he's just killed a guy. He just killed yeah, a guy. no, I, I, tend to, I tend to agree there. You've kind of just got to assume you're getting scored on by the one-turner. Like, you just got to assume that that's a score. And, you know, so why not make this into a, you know, into a foot race? You've got the better player to take the ball away. Uh, in your two ward answers than, than on the other side. Because if he's coming with his player, you know, if he's coming with his gutter runner that's best at getting the ball, that's one of the players you want to kill. <laughs> so. yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's kind of easy to look at this and say, well, this could easily end up, you know, 12-11 or 8-6. Um, and it could if they choose to go that way. But I'm not sure that plays into the elves' strength here. Yeah, no, I think it does. That's what I think now. I think it does. But he's not doing it. <laughs> no. no spoilers in chat. I mean, I, I think he's. Uh, I think he's trying to suck that wizard off him. <laughs> uh, he's trying. To, yeah. Always a fun. I know Gaday Nick. He 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 does like to do a bit of sucking off. <laughs> But I gotta say, if I had, you know, if I had been setting an over/under before this game started, I probably would have set it at about five, you know, thinking yep. like a three-two, a three-two win, pretty reasonable, um, you know, not including kicks, obviously, if it went to kicks somehow. But uh, now, yeah, now I'm looking at it, and this, I don't know, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe three-two is still on the menu uh, in an overtime win here, but that's not what I was expecting it. To. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of agree with Jimmy, having looked at them a bit more and thought about it. I, I think there's a reasonable chance that despite all of these fantastic gutters, just because of moving the ball around, a fail on the one turn attempt, suddenly Nick's definitely got the whip hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, perhaps banging it in in three or four, and uh, there's almost no point in the eight turn score, is there? Because you're putting, you know, you're just saying, okay, if you can one turn, it's one one at the half, and that's not a great place to be. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps if you give the rats two or three turns, there are ways they could screw that up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like he's got great, he's got great dancers, hasn't he? Oh God. Oh. And he's another <laughs> elf down. Yeah, he, the that's apple a good comes one. Comes in for that one. Makes wow. the save too, but. uh yeah. Not looking good for Gdanik off the off the bat injury wise. No, that's his bench used up, isn't it? That's two injured elves and the app off gone. Yeah, and I mean that's a nice catcher, wasn't it? Like only had guard, but it's still nice. And there's a really Better nice guard catcher. Well. Is beautiful, particularly you know in tandem with those two uh, war dancers. Not that they urgently need it, yeah. um, but you know a guard at that pace, very very hard to uh, to stay safe from. <laughs> So that's two guarders down for Nick. That's that's a big hit to his team for this match and, and for the next round if he makes it with the death. And who knows what can happen now. You know he's got no apple. There's a dirty player, active, and a pommer. Now you're seeing a little bit of urgency to score, I think, from Nick. <laughs> yeah. Because that wizard coming out now is more likely a guaranteed score than if there were 11 L's on the pitch. Yeah. It's, it's finding the right time, isn't it, to go in with the bolt, uh, making sure the AG6 is near enough that it can fetch and get it out yep. to somebody. Yeah, yeah he's too he far can... away this year. Yeah, I think he had to keep the AG6 central, right, so that wherever yeah. Nick went, he could go there, come back, and do something. Yeah, I, did, yeah. I didn't like the move to the side, and hence it freed up this flank that Nick's attacking down. I think that's, that's very reasonable. <laughs> yeah. But now, with all the all the rats heading over to that side of the field, I wouldn't be shocked if we see Nick score next turn. Oh, he's got yeah, and there's that yeah, yeah, there's that score threat to really, really make uh, Nick think about the wizard. Skitter coming in. He's still not going central with the edge six, though. Huh. Yeah, he's, he's he is only move ten though, Lemon. Right? If he was in the middle that turn, he could have bolted and he could have gone one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and got back in the middle. Whereas now he can just get there, and then he'd have to pass it Pocket. straight out. Yeah. Yeah, and this also gives up a big hit here. Huge hit. Huge hit. Yeah. Oh, the break. 
Just the stun. And that was another reason to keep him central, was to keep him screened off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded him where that where that dirty player is with one more player up there to screen, just complete that screen. Yeah, my my, my player would have definitely yeah. been protecting that edge six, keep him central, and then that's just all the defense you need then. Nick doesn't have to score now because he was able to get the stun in the edge six. No one else is going to go over there, so the wizard's not coming out this turn. No. No, or if it does, it's right. a he, huge he, fucking he, error. Jay Lee got himself very out of position last turn. Uh, almost too much pressure towards the ball that he wouldn't have been able to stop scoring if he wanted to. Uh, that AG6 just hung out to dry. As Jim said, not in a good central position where it could bother the whole field and nothing near it to keep it safe. And hence with the stun, you know, Nick's got a lovely little area to stall it. And now he's just giving up on Another... defense here, surely, because he's blitzed the wrong side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, really often rats with natties don't need to bother defending, do they? They're, they're interested in just chipping a piece, trying to get slightly up on numbers, and then they, they're still very confident of being 1-1 one, one at the half. It's true. But if you're going to put these three guys and hang out your edge six, maybe you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that edge six should, had no business getting hit last turn if you were this close to giving up the defense. Yeah. We need both those words, Dimmy. I mean, after all, they are inherently a, a, a nation of criminals. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, dear me. No offense to our Antipodean cousins. <laughs> no, as always, I am joking. Good word. It's just there to entertain and amuse and bring a wry smile. Yep. <laughs> There's four or five people in Australia that have never committed a crime. <laughs> Hello, Fall Force. Hello, Fall Force. Oh, well, I don't like this so much from Gadernik because isn't this a bolt now? Yep. Mm, oh, yeah, the Ed 6 is right there. Yeah. Yep. Bolt out. This is going to yeah. take a lot of dice to really make it worthwhile. Nice scatter, though. Yeah. Again, you, you, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful scatter, um, sort of for everybody. Um, it's the hardest square, square for, uh, hardest square for the rats to get to. Oh, what the fuck's he doing? He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to throw it over an elf here. What the fuck's he? Why is he moved up there? He can't score. He's, he's <sighs> gonna score here. Oh dear. What the fuck is he? What the fuck is he doing? He is there one further down the pitch we're not seeing, Jim? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Good. Yeah. No. That's terrible. He might have thought because he had one that he brought back. Maybe he thought he was still down there. Is or is that or is that mighty blow tackler going down? No, nope, he just doesn't want to score on his wizard turn. God, that's, well, that's awful. Bizarre. He could have literally got it, that's come back really to here, bad. passed it to him, and then been off down the field. What? Yeah, the yeah that, this could be one nil at the half. But now that, he's saying nil nil. I don't see how that's a lot more. Oh, no. <laughs> he throws it over yeah. the elf. He's gonna <laughs> no. make him the GFIs. <laughs> What oh, a disaster. No. What an absolute disaster. Well, I, yeah, I think this entire turn has been wrong-headed, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> and a, a wasted whiz. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that that is almost as good. I mean, if not for those gutters, that was almost as good as just a GG for Gdanek. <laughs> and it still probably is. Well, he's got the one turn. He's got the one turn. That, you know, yeah. I, right. that, was, that was real bad, wasn't it? Like, cheerily, maybe playoff nerves. Huge mistake there. Yeah, that was. I mean, I, I didn't hate how he started the half. I thought the first few turns were great, but leaving that AG6 out in the in the woods all by itself in the wilds, uh, that wasn't and the ideal. Wizard, the, the wizard, the wizard use was wasn't okay. terrible either. Nope. But if he, if he'd done it right, just, <laughs> yeah, every, yeah, exactly. Every single piece yeah. that moved after the whiz that turn, I felt wasn't the right thing to do with it. Agreed. Mm. No, totally agree. Um. I mean, at the very least, you, you keep something deep to score with, and you perhaps throw it to, to Skitter and try and get, you know, some sort of cage around it. You certainly take the go for it. You don't pass over an elf if there's any way to avoid it. Yeah. I mean, the basic plan of whiz and go in with the AG6, now that it isn't stunned, great. Perfect mm -hmm. thing to do. Just every other part of it, not particularly brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like, what's cocky all upset about? Oh, right, making fun of Australia. Yeah. 
Whatever, cocky. I'm sure my, my city alone has committed more crimes against the crown by dumping tea into the harbor <laughs> than your entire continent. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty easy. Uh, cocky, and, and you do know I am 100% joking. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, Most people in England would probably kill to go live in Australia. <laughs> what is it? Easy? And that's how you get there. <laughs> Most people in Australia probably did, yes. Oh, okay, he's doing the push. He's, he's, push. <laughs> he's getting the push. I was like, what the fuck is he doing here? But he's, he's getting the push. <laughs> yeah. And actually, the vast majority of people that were transported to Australia, it was because of poverty um, that they were transported. Most chose to go. Um, yeah. It's, it's largely a myth that uh, we exported all of our convicts there. There were some penal cons, but lots of people were just sent there because they were poor and they had no life. I, I would have moved there just for the word penal. <laughs> um, I'm not, uh, one of my favourite jokes about Australia is, uh, is why I was going, ah, yeah. <laughs> it's because, you know, they were sent to Australia, they thought they were being punished, they got off onto this beautiful beach on the golden sun and went, ah, yeah. <laughs> and I've been doing it ever since. Of course, no one had told them about the spiders. <laughs> And there's the one turn in. Yep. Uh, so we are one, still one would prefer to have hit that with a wizard in hand, but uh, <laughs> that's no longer an option. Well, didn't we turn down one nil at the half? Yeah. Uh, and even with the whiz, it looked like we were settling for nil nil at the half, which I don't see as any better than one one. So yeah. I, yeah, I, was I just didn't quite understand what he thought that plan was achieving, even if he'd managed that pass yeah. over the earth. Elves yeah. would have just presumably have taken the ball back and we'd be where we are now. Or if they hadn't, would be nil nil at the half, yeah. which is no different yeah. to one one in my head. Yeah, that was that was really poor. Cool. Yeah. Now the question is, does he bang it in and go to overtime? Because honestly, Nick's dances are terrifying, aren't they? They are. They are absolutely shocking. <laughs> um, and I, I mean, I don't see how the rats keep this ball away from those dancers so I might be looking at another one turn here if I was the rats I, I yeah I'm I you know I will say though I think two turns of hitting with that palm against 11 players and no bench and no yeah. apo now might yeah. might might motivate Jay leave to hang on to the ball a little longer yeah. yeah that's that's a fair comment but I mean if you if you try and take the ball and drop back giving you a couple of turns of hitting that yeah. strength or mighty blow war dancer is coming after yep. your guts yeah like you just can't st you can't stop them Hitting yeah. your butters, <laughs> basically. A strength four, mighty blow, leap, AG four. It goes where it wants, and it hits what it wants. <laughs> yeah, lemon. Yeah, that's the thing, lemon. Um, <laughs> oh, beautiful <laughs> country. <laughs> Size of the continent. Oh well. That might motivate you to buy a turn or two as well. <laughs> well, I don't know what, what what's happened. No, I think this has pretty much not changed anything because the dancers are still standing. Unless he can get yeah. a hit on the dancers. <laughs> well, I mean, there is there is that. Yeah, he yeah. probably can't hit the dancers, but it's it's a little less support for them next turn. I, yeah. I think he's just going to try a. Tr Oh, okay, he is going back with it. For a second there, I thought he was thinking about trying a traditional cage to two-turn with the with the add <laughs> well, six would, and was yeah. just going to lose the ball. Suicidal. <laughs> to be fair, okay. if, he'd set up for the, if he'd set up for the one turn, he wouldn't have fucking done it because the one turn was stunned. <laughs> I'm going to do the the pro commentary trick of, uh, of trying to find a different way of looking at this, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm going to call that pitch invasion good for the Wood Elves. Yeah. Because their whole line of scrimmage being stunned, I mean, it's not getting hit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's a very good point, actually. Six stunned elves that, yeah. that can't be removed. You, you can't imagine the gutters dropping a foul in this turn. So, And they haven't. I say the gutters, that's because they're the only people on a Skaven team I care about. Yeah, I always call I always call Skaven gutters and stuff, and it's just like, that is the whole team, isn't it, really? Yeah. Well... Um, so yeah, I'm going to declare that a good pitch invasion for the elves who got the maximum number of players stunned. <laughs> it keeps them all alive. And he might lose a gutter here because he hung him out to dry completely. And yep, and there Absolutely you go. Does, and 100% deserve. <laughs> Played Red Rover with that gutter, and he ain't coming back. 
Mm. Well, I, you've got to feel that was deliberate because it has pushed that rowdy war dancer into his own backfield rather than coming towards the ball. Yeah. Um, he must yeah, have known that, that oh, he war doesn't dancer go all was going to get free die off the gutter. Yeah. Well, yes, he did. He's a fucking move ten. <laughs> yeah, but if one GFI would have been in scoring range, and he's not. I mean, that is crucial, yeah. isn't it? He's, yeah. he's actually not in scoring range in that square. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It's it's not what I would have done. <laughs> but who can I mean, say either, if it's right or wrong? Well, you either hang back and defend this one rather lonely elf that's coming towards the ball. Now that one or, is okay. Or you get into scoring range. But he's done neither. Yep, this guy. Well, he's put either. the other one into scoring range, though. And this gutter is—he's yeah. got two gutters in scoring range, but he could have—he could have easily had four. And I think. Yeah, and the AG5 is—is is in a protected position where it's very hard to see a blitz coming in on it. Though, of course, with AG5 dancers, they can get anywhere. Yeah. If he wants to hit him, he can. I'm pretty sure. Okay, this time the rats do put a foul in. Oh. Killed him uh, with skitter and get a kill because that's entirely reasonable. <laughs> Bribe we works. had the bribe, I didn't even realize. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's the throw out. Kadenik's going to have a rough game next turn, or next game if he wins it, except for the fact that he has his two dancers currently still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, this is hittable, right? It's a, it's a yeah. dodge in a GFI. But he can't really get, get surfed afterwards because he's got blood step. I, I, he would get hit by a tackle pawn, which I guess he doesn't want. That's why he's not going for it. But he, he could have done. Yeah, it, it's the blood bowl equivalent of first world problems, isn't it, though, Jim? Uh, you know, Gdanik can hit this ball any turn he chooses to. Yeah, that's um, true. So the question is, when does that seem like a good idea and not a possibly suicidal one? Yes. <laughs> what a lovely elf wall. Yeah, it's not terrible, is it? It might deter the Skaven from trying to score this turn, which meant it bought him a turn of hitting, which is pretty nice. Yeah, Deer Haunter, that uh, is usually described as a Venger bus uh, for reasons way too complicated to go into. <laughs> um, but where you have basically two Vs uh, you know, mirrored around the central point, so it's a standard cage but with two people in the middle. And it just means that, uh, that if you leap in against oh the two, you only get one die. And it means you have to probably get a guard in there as well. Yeah. Getting massacred here, but the game's still in hand. Does he score? I think I think scoring was pretty good. It's yeah. so dangerous staying around here. Cause he's he's moving closer. You. He's moving the ball closer to the fucking... <laughs> to the war dancer. Oh, he hands off to the sure hands. Okay. Mm. And gets it on a strength three piece. Well... Yeah. He has got the guard in oh, the wrong There is place, wrestle. Though. Well, the the problem with this, uh, Jimmy, and you've heard me say this before, is that Nick can leap in and then uh, and then come up his ass, can't he? He can because indeed. He can cancel the assists from the rear. Yeah, I'll, I'll just pause and explain this to people. So the the point of the uh, the point of the Venger bus is, I mean, ignore this, ignore that it's based by making this formation. Um, if they hit from one of these squares, one of these four squares. You've got an extra player in here, so so he's given the assist and they can't tag him. But if you hit from here, you, you, and they can counter these two. So it, when you've got a guard, you've got to have a guard on the at the back or all three players in the back. This guy doesn't need guard because he can't get countered anyway. That's the whole point of him being there. So he's literally just completely got the guard in the wrong place. Also, these two are his best players. <laughs> so if you're going to protect anyone, probably want to be the one turner stood there um, or the other one. So like he's basically yep. got the wrong guy. He's just, he's made, he's built it wrong. So there you go. <laughs> yes, the right shape, but not actually responding to the needs of this specific game. Yes. Yes, as Cor says, we often call that a driver uh, or in this one, it would be a, a sort of guard, wouldn't it, at the back? You know, as a trained guard. Well, it's a moot point here because Nick not going in, nope. taking another hit on Skitter instead. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, also, yeah, he's managed to not get in scoring range. Like, either one of these, if they were in front, you would have been in scoring range. And I really like having someone in scoring range because if Nick gets the ball sack, you know, and, and does something with it, and, and, you know, like, if Nick had got done something with a, got the ball there that turn, maybe Jay Leaf could have got the ball back and scored, right? Maybe he could have got the ball back and not been able to make it safe, but if he had someone in range, he could have scored after getting it back. So I do think it's important 
to get people in scoring range, even though they're movement 10 with sprint. <laughs> I'm gonna gonna do it again. Again. He's going to do it again. I felt I felt exactly the same, Jimmy, and I... Oh, it's the same shape. He hasn't learned. Same shape, mm. not in scoring range. Unless he drops this rat right in the back after the blitz. Might do. Not, probably not now. <laughs> and now he can't. Yeah, yeah, he can, Capo. But you know what I mean, though. Like, I was just talking about mostly, like, as, as a general rule, the guard doesn't make that much difference. Ooh. Basing the warbirds are there with Gitter. Yeah. I mean, it's it's all uh, right basing the skitter, isn't it? He's got. I mean, the tail doesn't attack, no. affect the edge five, but it. Oh, okay. Now he's coming in the rear. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, but but there's no there's no risk of him scoring right now. So well, I guess there was a little bit. So he's it's a free hit on Skitter, really. Gets him. Well, that always looked likely. Pushes that side. Yep. I like pushing the other side, personally. He's got more players on that side, hasn't he? Mm. Interesting from Gadernik there. And I think uh, I think he's about to get a uh, edge five. Nine. He rolls the nine to four shadowing. Outrageous! Outrageous play from Gadernik. Look at this. Passes it to him. Now, the unfortunate thing is that catcher cannot get away from the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, he can't what? get away from the move 10 <laughs> wrestle strip. Yeah. If you put another Blood Bowl pitch next to this one, players on that would be able to get away from this. <laughs> that's but that's pretty much Still exactly how we uh, predicted the Venger bus would be undone, yeah. and it was. Um, and although it was a cheeky pass, it, it, that's the sort of move we were hoping from Jay Lee at the end of the first half, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. There's the place All that right. It looks like uh, Jay Leave needs to roll a lot of not ones here. Yeah. He gets the strip. The strip. But of course, Gaudet's been sensible enough to keep two elves in that area, just in case any of this does go wrong. Why? Why are we? Okay. <laughs> So, I would have maybe just picked it up with that player personally. Yeah, he's at six, isn't he? But that, this is what I mean about I having like someone one. in range by having the by having the scoring yeah. threat. It means that if yeah. you pop it, you know, and you can't defend. Like, how does he defend it? You know, if he picks up with that yeah. guy. Yeah. So I mean, the AG five can still take it. Yes, it would be another pass over, a, a, but it would only be over a dancer, so it doesn't get the catch reroll. And as Jim says, you can then score it, and then you don't have to worry about keeping it safe. It's. Intercept though, he couldn't tag him. Oh no, he's throwing it to the other one. Okay. He's throwing it. it to Skidder. Which. He's throwing it to Skidder. Who's already Can't activated. Go. Trying to build a cage around him with a single guard. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting oh, strategy, Cotton. <laughs> see if Kedainik it is. Kedainik found a way in. <laughs> Kedainik did find a way in. <laughs> impressive, impressive maneuvering by Kedainik there. And uh, has managed to get himself three dice. Wow. Oh, amazing. I and the pal. He did it. Great surprise. Uh, the good thing for Jay Leave is that Gadanik does not have a standing player and scoring threat. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, he's he, not going to. No, no, he, he can defend the ball, can't he, uh, Gadanik? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he can. He's the guy with Quite you know, good players. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the thing, the dancers are just so uh, dominating, like, they're so yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, I, it, almost tempting to have just used the whiz on one of those. Uh, yeah. on strip balls and turn him over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bolt, bolt the dancer and foul him at some point in the first half. Would have been better than yeah, what I, he I did. I genuinely don't hate that as a concept. Absolutely. That's the piece yeah. that's going to ruin your day. Yeah. Kill it. Yeah, for sure. And now he's just got to come in for the uphill strip, hasn't he? Yep. That's... That's his only option. Get in, because of course at AG6, of course he does. Yep. Uh, two red dice, only needing a push, isn't that unlikely? And now the edge five can pass it to this Stormvermin and Skull. No, he can't. The lineman and 
It's gonna be some dice. No, nope, he's not gonna. Nope. Nope. Oh boy. What I think he saw what success he had. Oh, and there it is. I think he saw the success he had last turn in defending with one player that he thought he could do it again for a turn. <laughs> yeah, that's... I'm not liking cheerleaders. Didn't matter. On the, on the critical turn. No. no, they've just felt a little hopeful, haven't they? Wow. It strikes it strikes me oh, that he probably surf, won a lot of games one turning with those gutters and little else. Look at this double surf here. Yep. yep. Yeah. 3D as well. Yuck. Yeah, both both double surf. <laughs> if the blitz had been a push, it would be a triple surf. Folks, pay attention, you're about to witness history. Gidanik in one turn is surfing an entire team of skate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there it is. The eleven man basically surf. <laughs> now you look around at what's left on the rat team and you realize it's just about nothing. Yeah. Big danger is Skitter now, and hence Skitter gets fouled. A stun's fine, you didn't need more than that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the Blitz is a nice piece, but without the gutters, it's... Yeah. Why is he backing off here? He's this not... So much like, packing 12 inches when you're alone on a desert island, it's just no use. <laughs> I guess that's like a scoring threat out of the way, if some magic happens, but like, he hasn't shown any desire to use scoring threats when yeah, they were actually exactly. relevant. Exactly, <laughs> I mean, why learn that I mean, now, when it's <laughs> over? <laughs> Yeah, he needs every single body in front of the ball and the prayer of getting to overtime here. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's a good point. Some guy, 113. Uh, the, the team is... Even if the team wins, the team is in a, a much worse state. But that's also true of the elves. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the natty tide. <laughs> he got, yeah, he got minus move. Yeah. So, so he's not there next game, and he's not a natty. Yeah. But luckily for Jay Leave, there won't be a next game. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, he can take this um, to the Open League, where he can one turn in turn one and then get a concession. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know that I agree with that, Volk. I don't know all the teams that are that are left standing. I believe Gidanik has the tools to win, for sure. I, mean, um, I believe that Jay Leave's team had the tools to win. Yeah, uh, I, yes, I do think that Gdanik can win the cup, and I think having if he wins this game, which he's going to, um, he, he becomes a, a good, yeah. not necessarily my favourite, but a very good contender. Wow. Well, um, I, I having seen how Jay Lee's played this game, I mean, I just don't think. He, yeah, he doesn't leverage his his weapon as no. well at all. No. Yeah, I, I think Jay Lee. What Jay Lee may have meant was him <laughs> him <we're laughs> killing. Two players, <laughs> but I don't think Jay Leaves was in was in the running for winning it. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I mean, anyone can I, coach badly a game or a turn. Yeah, or I've never turn. seen him play before, I so seen I don't know if he's before. better Perhaps than what he's we've a seen a wonderful here. coach just not having a good day. But if this is yeah. an example of how he coaches, no, he couldn't have won the chalice. Yeah, but it, Although again, it was a bad. It was terrible a bad people win the chalice, so it's possible. Yeah, anyway. but I wouldn't have made him a favourite. No, and it, it was a bad game for him. To be fair, it was a real bad matchup, as you say. If he, yeah. he could have just had a better draw and been fighting oh, bangers against orcs, Kemri, dwarves, even chaos dwarves, I'd have backed this this Skaven team to do really well. Yeah, um, but wood elves is perhaps the last thing they wanted to be faced. Yeah, yeah. I was only I was only joking there. He's not. He's obviously not terrible or anything. But it it was a super bad matchup for him, and uh, I think he's definitely made some mistakes on the uh, critical turns. I'll I'd give you my answer in a sense. second, Ducky. Um, I think your team. <laughs> Here we go. Good. Um, I think you're not a million miles from being a lot of people's favourites. Um, I don't think it's There's the Nurgle that, that beat Cruz. Uh, I thought they played quite well. I thought it was a well-played game, but they lost two Nurgle's warriors, one of which was developed, um, and they're they're not coming back in a useful state, even if you get through the next stage. <gasps> Oh no! Oh, Gnadek! Wow. no! Okay. If he failed that, the rats could have won the well. toss and just won, couldn't they? Uh, I know. Oh. 
That would have been fucking amazing. Oh, I think if Core gets past me alive, I think he's a strong favourite for the game against me, and I think if he gets through that with what he's got intact, I'd put him in the top two or three names. So, I think yourself, I think uh, Core, K-Fogged, are two names that would instantly leap to mind as uh, as good coaches with the right teams that could easily win Chalice. Yeah, I think Nick's Nick, Nick, Nick's up there, isn't he? Nick's, he's, he's had a, Nick's up there too. He's had a big uh, big loss with the dead the dead guard catcher, um, but you know he's he's made it through. Not a, not a particularly tricky game, but it could have been tricky. Like it could have been tricky if yeah. Oh yeah. If that, if that wizard turn had been more aggressive and uh, and then rolled the dice, you know, like if it had been aggressive and successful, he could have he could have been one nil down at the half, and then you know two nil down after the one turn, and then how does he come back from that? Not easily. So, you know, Jaylee definitely could have won the Jaylee definitely oh, yeah. could have won Chalice with this team, hundred percent. Just yes. any, any any like you know anyone could like. Yeah, not, not... Scaramezzo could have won Chalice with this team. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like, Let's I'm not, not I'm be not, hasty here. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Me, you know, meaning to trash him or anything. Like he just, right. he absolutely could have won Chalice with this team for sure. You know, I don't know Jay Lee. He, he might be a fantastic coach. Sixty-three percent. You know, as a win rate. I'm not a big win rate fan. You can abuse that if you choose to. You just um, you, you got to base it off of what you're as looking as you at. Want, if you want to. But it, I mean, it means yeah. He's probably we looked not... at a really good winnable team, not yeah. well used in this game. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I could say different, but I I kind of agree. There were just so many turns where you thought, why not this or why have you done that, and it just none of it looked particularly good, did it? Yeah. Um, but some awesome players. Um, I mean, he, I thought he used the whiz on the right turn, just. Nothing else that turn seemed particularly well thought through. Yeah, yeah, that was the killer. And on that bombshell, congratulations, Gdanik. Commiserations, Jay Leave. Thank you very much, Purple Chest and Skurometso. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.